It's token time part two. What's up guys, if you'd like to support our content and pick up this month's amazing proxy rewards, please check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash it resolves. What's going on guys and welcome to part two of Tokens Week Challenge. We are very excited because we have an amazing deck today from a new user, which I am very excited about. We've gotten an amazing number of submissions. Guys, if you do not know what these challenge weeks are, let me inform you. Let me just briefly describe. Basically what we do is we set a challenge uh, to our Discord community. Each week we pick three submissions that follow that challenge. The goal is not to win, it's to achieve the challenge. Uh, and we put them against each other. Now whoever does the best job is the one that wins and they get a free mystery proxy pack which includes five digitally altered proxies that we send out normally just to our patreon community so this is really cool a uh, great way to get these kinds of things out there and a great way to involve you guys so i'm really excited in uh in the first part of this uh this challenge we didn't do all that great um Death Ace put together a what I think is an amazingly creative list that did not work. Uh, and that's OK. We only got three tokens. Three is not very high. Uh, so today we're going to we're going to give it another shot. We're going to hope to beat three, uh, which I think, given some of the cards in here that we'll be talking about, is going to be very doable. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into today's deck. All right, guys, before we jump in and talk about this list submitted to us by Blade X, just as a reminder, if you would like to submit a list for these challenges, you can do so via our Discord community. We're actually going to be setting up a new Google form to kind of house all of these uh, the, su the submissions uh, because it gets a little hectic in there. So I wanted to make sure that we had an easy way to, to go about doing it. Uh, and so that's going to probably be the easiest way to do it. So that form will be available in that same Discord chat. So nothing changes. But Let's talk about today's deck because this is a massive pile of cards. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff. Blade X put together a really interesting list here uh, that features a lot of my favorite token generators from the game, uh, just the game. Uh, we've got Legion's Landing here, a great way to long term be able to spit out some tokens and just throw something out on turn one. We've got Thraven Inspector, which is going to give us a clue token. We got Reese the Redeemed, which is going to copy all of our creature tokens. We got Raise the Alarm, which is going to spit two little guys out. We got Sapperling Migration, which spits two tough four people out. Uh, people. Uh, Omen of the Sun, which spits out some guys. Mirror Maid, which is going to copy basically any uh, artifact or enchantment, which is really for the anointed procession which doubles everything so that's good uh we've got growing rights of itlamok which is gonna hopefully give us basically infinite mana for our march of the multitudes which is gonna spit out a million tokens we got battle which is gonna throw out some more tokens we got the uh, Archon of Sun's Grace, which is going to spit out tokens every time we play an enchantment. Uh, is it just enchantment? Let me just be clear. Yes. OK, we got Mythos of Aluna, which is going to copy the Anointed Procession along with the Mirror Maid to make more Anointed Processions. We got Asika's Chariot, which is going to spit out two tokens. This you get the idea. We've got the Tender Shoot Drive, which is going to spit out a token every turn. Basically, this is just every token generator you could think of shoved into a deck and called it a Bant tokens list. And I love it. Blade X, you did a great job. I'm really stoked to see how this goes very quickly because I don't know how many lands this has 20 lands, which honestly doesn't seem bad, given we've got the uh, growing rights of it. Lamox. So we'll see. We will see. Uh, this is going to be an interesting one, guys. Uh, there are a couple things I don't like about this list. Four castles, uh, both green and white, and only four temple gardens to help keep these untapped. That seems a little weird to me, but you know what? We're going to do it. We're going to have a fun time, guys. We're going to send this through three games. That is our trick. We are going to do three best of one games with this. We're going to take the highest score and pit it up against the other two decks for the week. Please, please, please make sure uh, to enter. Also, I totally forgot. We are going to uh, announce the the challenge for next week oh i'm so sorry guys i forgot to do that so before we jump into games the uh the challenge for next week is historic as well best of one and the the goal is to get as many uh planeswalker emblems as possible now this was a challenge submitted by spinner after we asked you guys for some challenge and spinner after gave some amazing suggestions and i really liked that one so we're gonna see how we do uh so please do uh feel free to submit some decks to that but without further ado let's jump into the games 
All right, guys, here we are with our opening hand, and this is probably about as good as we could ask for. Bladex, thank you again for the submission. I really do appreciate it. We're going to go ahead and keep this. Uh, the reason being, we have that Temple Garden that we are going to gonna shock ourselves for, uh, and this is going to throw out our first token. Look at that. We already have one, which is a third of the way there to winning this challenge already. So uh, this is actually about as good as we could expect. We do need some more lands here, of course, uh, really to get to three and four. The other trick with this is it's a little difficult to get blue mana, uh, as I have realized, and that's okay, but it is going to be a bit tricky. So what we're going to do is we're just going to swing in here and see what they do. They probably are just going to take it. Um, first of all, this isn't necessarily how many tokens we get out on the battlefield at once. It's just how many this deck can create. Uh, and so this will always, we'll be adding to this one. Uh, and what I'm going to do uh, is throw this out. So this is going to hopefully help flip our Legion's Landing a lot quicker. So we get three things out. Next turn we play the Legion's Landing before attacking. That flips it. Uh, and then ideally we get ourselves into a really good position here. So let's do this. That's going to give us a guaranteed land, which is really good. Let's go ahead and attack in here. Transforming. I like it. Uh, and let's be clear, we now have four tokens, so uh, let's do that. We won! Blade X, we did it! We already did it! That's pretty funny to me. <laughs> uh, Alright, cool. Um, I'm actually gonna do this because we do need another land here. Uh, okay, Omen of the Sun. It's not a great card necessarily, but it's fine. Um, so, let's see what we can do. Uh, I think the play is to be mana efficient and just throw this out there. Uh, which is going to up it to five. Uh, and then I'm just going to attack in. We're just going to do it. We're going to do it, guys. I believe in us. Also, oh, coffee. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. All right, so uh, this is going to long-term be able to copy a lot of stuff, too, which is just great. Uh, and look at that. Another token. We're at six. Whoops. There we go. Uh, try to keep track as we go. If I lose track, I'll uh, obviously recap and figure out the best way to, to fix that. But uh, all right, so here is the trick. What do we want to do here? We can just omen. We can raise the alarm. Uh, we could omen plus reese. Uh, what do we want to do? Uh, do we want to just attack in here? Kind of, right? Yeah, I do. I do, because I don't really... I don't particularly care about losing these tokens, uh, and I'm curious to see. The only thing that is a downside is we do lose out on doubling them, but they're choosing the probably not correct block, which is great for us. Um, okay. Uh, and you know what? I'm just going to do this because we're going to double up all of our tokens as much as we can. Uh, this adds another one, which is seven. Uh, so we are more than doubled what Death Ace did. <laughs> Death Ace, I'm so sorry, buddy. You put together a really cool list. I feel so bad that it didn't work, but it's OK. Um, all right. Cool. So now we double all of our tokens. First of all, that puts us to eight. OK, so choosing it with different names. So you, 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 and you. We create doubles of those. So that adds four, which puts us up to 12, which is pretty good. We're doing all right. Um, all right. I really wish we could play this Mythos of Aluna at some point, but we just can't. Uh, and we can't. Oh, wait, can we? No, we can't. Sad day. Um, okay, so we can March of the Multitudes, though, which is pretty bomb right now. Uh, and so let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we can do this for 13. I'm just going to go ahead and do it, because why not? I believe I'm correct in saying 13. I might be wrong. We'll see. But either way, this is going to create 13 more tokens, which puts us up to 25. Not 125. 25. All right. So there we go. We're doing pretty well. Blade X, your deck is killing it, my friend. I love it. Uh, and next turn, we can basically just attack him <laughs> and win the game. Ooh, nice opponent. Look at this. Uh, Ashaya is really sick, by the way, uh, if you just don't know. Oh, but we can do this again. Um, okay, well, we're going to double all these for... Can I... I can't... I... Okay. One, can I not? One, two, three, four. Okay, so this is going to give us four more, which puts us up to 29. 
<laughs> oh man, this is a fun one. All right, so one, a lot. This is a lot. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, plus thirteen. Am I right in saying that seventeen plus thirteen is thirty? So we can theoretically do this for thirty. I hope I'm saying that correctly. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Yeah. Apparently we can. So it's gonna give us thirty more, uh, which is gonna put us up to fifty nine. Blade X, you are killing it. This is a great, great start. We did it. We made 30 more tokens. <laughs> we could have won that turn, probably. I mean, there's like, there's no way we couldn't have. Uh, but you know what? We're not here to win. If you guys don't know how these challenges work, we are not here to win the game. We're here to create as many tokens as we possibly can. And we're doing that right now. Um, and I love this. <laughs> I would love to be able to activate the Reese, but again, lands guys lands are the trick when you are creating your decks oh no oh no <laughs> we're gonna lose everything <laughs> that's fine you know what it's fine it's totally fine <laughs> that sucks so bad though uh all right let's anoint a procession and then probably lose next turn um when you are building these decks, guys, please pay attention to the lands. That is so crucial. Uh, I don't think you guys understand how crucial that is because we get in situations where we just can't play the cool stuff that you have put into your deck, and that's a little tricky sometimes. So, all right, they're just going to ping for three. Uh, that's kind of surprising. Um, all right, so I wish we could Mythos of Aluna this, uh, but we can't. That's fine. I wish we could, again, double up. We we can't double up on, like, anything. Uh, all right, this is going to add up to 61 tokens. Uh, so that's good. But again, they can just sweep next turn, so it's like, meh. <laughs> Pro black. That doesn't really matter. Um, so what they could do, they're not going to. That's kind of surprising. All right, so they could just attack in and win, right? Wow, it has trampled. That's really sad. All right, so... Wow, that's so mean. Okay, so regardless, though, we got to 61 tokens. Bladex, that is a strong start. Let's go ahead and jump into game two. All right, guys, here we are for game number two and a, a very similar start and definitely a keep here. We've got a nice one into ba basically two different two drops that could help get this March of the Multitudes down, so we're keeping it. This is an easy, easy keep. We got 61 tokens to beat, uh, putting up a very, very strong record in game one, so well done, Bladex. Let's see if we can beat it this time. Set that bar even higher. Uh, I believe in you, my friend. I really do. Uh, Blade X, for, again, it's a it's a huge pleasure to have you uh, represented here. Thank you so much. Uh, that's a token. Thank you so much for participating in this. It's really fun to see new people in here. Obviously, for the first couple weeks, we had a lot of similar people, and we still do. Uh, they're very, very active still, which I certainly appreciate. But uh, it's very, very nice to see some, uh, some new faces. Um, so thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. It means a lot. Uh, and here... It's pretty straightforward. We're probably just going to raise the alarm, uh, which is a little unexciting, but it's something. Uh, and we'll we'll pass. We're going to take this to um, nothing really to, to do there. It has uh, first strike, which is why it's a little bit tricky to actually play uh, around. All right. And curious to see what they have as a follow up. It might just be another berserker. Ah, it's a burgie. OK. I like that a lot. That's really cool. All right. Um, so, uh, first of all, let's up this because that's now three. Second of all, we're just going to go ahead and sapperling migration, I think. Um, keep things really simple. We're, we're going for the biggest March of the Multitudes we can get uh, because that's really what's going to to put us over here. We do need another land. Similar problem, uh, but that's okay. That is totally fine. We're doing okay without it. I mean, we're not in the worst shape possible, if that makes sense. It could be a lot, a lot worse. Uh, I'm just going to take the two. <laughs> I don't really want to lose any of our creatures, given that we need them uh, for uh, the, the March of the Multitudes play here. So I'm just going to pass. There is a land, which is helpful. 
Um, very, very helpful, in fact. So let's go ahead and play that out. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So we can play this for five. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. Uh, and this is gonna add five to our total, making it a 10, which is great. Good start. Um, and we probably will need to start blocking here at some point. Uh, again, it's okay to, to kind of throw these out here for now, but we don't want to die yet. We, we got to beat 61. That's the goal. So uh, I really wish we could have had this anointed procession down for that because that would have been amazing, but we can't. Um, okay. So they get one of them out of there. That's fine. Uh, and crucially, they do have a lot of mana here. Two of them out of there. Okay. It's also fine. Um, the great thing about a tokens list is point and shoot removal isn't really that good against us. Uh, I mean, it's not bad, but it's not great either. Okay. Uh, that's very scary, obviously. And there's the anointed procession. Um, so we can play this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one, two, three, four, five, which is going to double to 10. So we're going to add 10 to this number uh, and make it 20. Whoops. And there we go. Uh, granted, we're probably still dead to the terror of the peaks, but hey, we did a we did an OK thing there. Um, if we draw a land, we get Tender Suit Dryad out, which is like super good. All right. And here is the amazingness that is their deck. Uh, chances are we are pretty dead here. Um, but you know what? Again, a solid effort. Get Looking at the mana that we had, this is really, really good. March of the Multitudes, an insanely, insanely good card, uh, obviously, because it, it made this possible. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's really awesome. So, uh, pretty solid effort, regardless. Uh, and they're going to get in for five damage here, which does mean next turn we're pretty dead unless we can attack in, uh, which we can, actually, uh, if we'd like. Um... All right, so let's do this first. We're gonna try and stay as alive as we can, but to do that, we are gonna have to attack with 12 lifelinkers, because why not? Uh, this Archon is most likely just gonna die, uh, which is sad, but it is what it is. Um, okay. The, the crucial thing here is we're gaining a lot of life, so I'm all good with losing these guys, that's fine. We gain 11 in that process because they do kill one the uh, the other one with the first strike berserker. But we now have an archon down, which is pretty awesome. Uh, so use our mana efficiently. If they just bricked and drew a land, we're in really good shape. Um, but we'll see. They can create tokens with this is the problem, uh, which triggers this. So not good for us. Very not good for us. But we will uh, see what we can do here. Okay, take out that Thraven Inspector. That's fine. Uh, it doesn't truthfully really bother me that much. Um, they're attacking with this. That's a little interesting. Um, is that just to create the dragon? Yeah, so then they can kill the Archon. Okay. Yep. Um, then they create a little 2-1, which is going to... Shoot another one of our little guys, which is fine. All right. Uh, obviously, we're going to kill this Fearless Liberator. Uh, wow, they just get to do it again. That's so crazy. Um, we're going to do that, definitely. Um, and we probably just do this. All right. Down to two. I'm thinking we're not going to get there this time, uh, if I'm honest. But that's okay. That is okay. Uh, this does create a couple extra tokens for us. Uh, in fact, four. So that puts us up to 24. Uh, and just for the sake of seeing what we get, we'll go ahead and sacrifice this little guy. All right. Um, I mean, we're super dead, right? We just attack in because we can. Because you know what? Why not? Why not attack in? It's just fun. Uh, yeah, we're super dead here. <laughs> But regardless, this is a fun uh, this is a fun little game. We again, mana is the issue. We've got these five drops that are really, really good, but difficult to play, uh, and that's okay. Um, but it is what it is. 
we'll uh, take the or take the loss, and you know what? Have a good a good time regardless. We're up to ten, but they just attack in and we're dead. So I'm gonna go ahead and concede. Uh, Blade X, we are gonna jump into game three. That was a total of 24. Let's see if we can beat that 61 in game three. All right, guys, here we are for game number three, our third and final game. Uh, and this is a pretty interesting keep. If we get a land, we're in really good shape. We do have the migration here that we can get out early as well. So I am going to keep this. We also don't have to shock ourselves on turn one. Uh, as a reminder, this is our third and uh, final game. We are not going to play another one. Uh, I think I've said that like twice already, but that's okay. Uh, we're trying to beat 61. We are trying to beat 61. Uh, and I believe in us, guys. I think we can do it. There's a Reese, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, we're going to play out this as a blue land because we do have these uh, blue cards that eventually we'd like to play. Um, so far, we've been unsuccessful in doing so, but I believe in us. Um, okay. Uh, interesting. So this is the, the little 1-1 one, one pingers list, which is a scary, scary list. Uh, let me be very clear in saying. Um, also, let me make sure I write down, we do have two tokens so far. And they got the little gingerbread brute. That's a cute one. Um, all right. It's actually really good for us. We're going to go ahead and just throw that out and leave up the omen of the sun. Um, that just provides us with not only a little bit of life gain, but also a really, really nice way to uh, to block some guys potentially if uh, if we get that opportunity. So we'll see. Um, if they just spit out two and attack, uh, we probably just take those two. Um, the other ones they're not going to attack with. I don't know why they're not attacking with the Fervent Champion, because we'd have to double block to do anything, but that's okay. Uh, let's create up to four tokens now. I like it, um, and I'm actually just going to take it. <laughs> uh, but this very clearly threatens Chandra, which is kind of nice, so I do like that. Um, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? Uh, I think we're just going to end up waiting on the Omen. We obviously can't play the battle because we did choose to play double blue here, um, which is potentially not the correct play, but I think it was kind of for the best, to be honest. So I'm going to go ahead and just threaten Chandra here. Chances are they just block with one little guy. Oh, no, they're just going to... Well, that's a little interesting. Uh, I didn't expect that at all. Uh, but we may have baited them into an attack here, which is potentially really good. Uh, okay. Torch Courier. So they must be just like inundated with these little 1-1s, one which is not a bad thing. Um, all right, so we're going to spit out two more tokens, getting us up to six. Uh, and they may want to start paying some costs here, but we'll see. Okay, they're going to shock one. Makes sense. They're going to shock two. Fair enough, but we burned those shocks, so I feel pretty good about that. Um, and let's see if we can get something good. What can we get? A land is good. Land is helpful. I like land. Um, hmm. So I think what we do is just throw out the battle, uh, which is going to put us up to seven, which is not bad. Um, and then next turn, we can Mythos of Aluna that or just play another battle. Or they just give up. Uh, interesting. I am going to count this one solely because we did get fair, fairly far into the game. Uh, I think we were going to uh, to win it, but i um, curious to see how many tokens we were going to get. But anyway, let's all summarize that in just a second. All right, guys, so Blade X put up a very, very respectable 61 as the high score uh, on, on his list. That was a really, really good showing. Blade X, again, I just want to say a huge, huge thank you for, for participating in this challenge week. I do encourage anybody who would like to win some free mystery proxies, but also just have a fun time uh, to, to enter. Next week's challenge, as a reminder, is Emblem Week. We are trying to see how many emblems we can get. Planeswalker emblems. Keep that in mind. Uh, Spinner Raptor, thank you so much for that suggestion i really do appreciate it if you also put some suggestions in uh feel free there that form is going to stay open so if you have any other ideas please feel free to check that out uh but uh i i did read through all of those we'll get to some of the other ones in later weeks so do not worry uh i just that that one really caught my eye so i'm excited to see how that one goes but thank you guys so much i really do appreciate it blade x again a huge thank you to you as well and congratulations you're the leaderboard right now you're at the top we got one more day to go guys if you want to check out the final part it will 
will be up on Friday. So without further ado, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it. I'll see you for the next challenge episode.